Yes, believe it or not, there is another Jabba the Hutt lawn ornament now available. Uh, you may recall that in the past, last year, I reviewed two of these, uh, one of which was from Morbid Enterprises and one was from Jemmy and only available in Canada. This one is actually based on that Jemmy design, but it's significantly smaller, as we will see. It says five feet here on the box, but that's referring to how wide it is and not how tall, so don't be fooled. Uh, you can see here it says 2888 on the box. If that doesn't uh, give you a clue, this is actually a Walmart exclusive. They tend to price things that way. That's quite a bit less than the other two options that I reviewed in the past, although this is quite a bit smaller as well. I believe this may be available in some stores, but I got it on Walmart.com. I'll put the link in the description below. You can see on the back it even has Walmart.com written right on the box. And uh, in terms of features, it lights up, self-inflates in seconds, and has energy-efficient LEDs. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what it looks like when it's inflated. One nice thing about these inflatables is there's really nothing to set up or assemble. Um, you just plug it in and it inflates in about, I'd say, 30 seconds or so. I'm going to show it to you here in real time so you can see what it looks like. I find it kind of fascinating to watch these inflate for some reason. I'm not using them right now, but it does also come with some uh, stakes and cord that you can use to tether it to the ground, which would be a good idea because these have a tendency to blow away if you're not careful. I realize it's a little bit difficult to get a sense of scale from this, but he's about uh, three feet tall, I would say. Here he is next to his big brother from Canada. Uh, even that one, the bigger one, was not what I would call exactly life-size, although it's, it's pretty large. Uh, so, you know, the smaller one is definitely not life-size, but it's still a fairly impressive size. Now, one big difference, of course, as you can tell, is that the Canadian exclusive one has a jack-o'-lantern sort of permanently attached to it. And that's not great if you want this for anything other than a Halloween decoration. So, uh, in that sense, I think the Walmart version is superior. In terms of the little details and stuff like that, however, I would say they're basically identical. The colors and face design and even the arm tattoo appear to be the same. And here are all three of the inflatables. I've got a little family going here. You can see that the Morbid Enterprises version on the right is significantly larger than the other two, and the closest to being life-size. I actually prefer the design of the others, though. And here's a quick shot at night to show you what it looks like when it's lit up. Well, it's always lit up, but you can't see it during the daytime. It's got a couple of LEDs that hang down, and they're actually quite bright compared to the other two versions that I have, and so this one is actually going to be pretty visible during the nighttime, I think. It is a little on the noisy side with the fans, though. Price-wise, this is by far the best of the three, with the other two often going over $100. It's not nearly as impressive in terms of size, and of course having a life-size or nearly life-size Jabba the Hutt was part of the draw of the other products. Still, it's nice to have something more affordable. By the way, speaking of Jemmy and Walmart, they also have a series of Star Wars Halloween greeters, which are these uh, large plush things that you're supposed to sort of put at your door, I guess. Uh, they're for indoor use. But uh, they're essentially large stuffed animals, and uh, they have a Jabba as well. This was first available last year, and I got one then and reviewed it in my video about Jabba plushes, which you can see uh, linked in the upper right. But I just thought I would mention it since I've had some people ask me about it.